Whether you're a beginner or just need a quick refresher, this video will help you get started. Let's dive right in. Step 1. Opening Adobe Illustrator First things first, make sure you have Adobe Illustrator installed on your computer. Once you've got that, go ahead and open the application. Step 2. Creating a new document After opening Illustrator, you'll be greeted with the start screen. Here, you can see your recent documents and access templates. To create a new file, simply click on New Document on the left-hand side. Step 3. Document Setup Now, you'll see the New Document dialog box. This is where you set up your new file. Let's go through some of the key settings. Artboard Presets You can choose from various presets such as Print, Web, Mobile, and more. These presets come with predefined sizes and settings suitable for specific purposes. Size If you're not using a preset, you can manually input the dimensions of your artboard. You can set the width and height in inches, millimeters, points, or other units. Orientation You can choose between portrait and landscape orientation. Bleed If you're designing for print, you can set up bleed by specifying the bleed amount. Color Mode – Choose between RGB, for web and screen design, and CMYK, for print design. Raster Effects – Adjust the resolution of raster effects. The default setting of 300 ppi is suitable for most print projects. Preview Mode – You can select Preview to see how your document will look with the chosen settings. Step 4 – Advanced Settings here, you can tweak additional options such as the number of artboards, the spacing between them, and more. Step 5. Creating the new file. Once you've configured all the settings to your liking, Click on the Create button in the bottom right corner of the dialog box. Step 6. Exploring the new document. Congratulations! You've just created a new document in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching this chapter and I hope it was helpful to you. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click on the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video tutorial.